Alrighty. Getting ready. My goodness. What a day today. I don't normally preface Mondays in that nature. One, five, four, three, two, one, go indeed. Hello there, looking glass. Hello there. Welcome to Monday evening. I am super packed. And uh, just for fun purposes for tonight, uh, just a brief explanation of what I do, why I do this. I'm a first generation gamer. That is like uh, maybe 10 seconds. And, uh, well, I uh, gathered about 45 years worth of uh, knowledge and experience. I even did this professionally for a while. And uh, said, hey, you know what? I know a few things. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, why not? Let's uh, see what show people what I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On the last word. Right. That sticker. And stickers tonight are free, by the way. This will be the uh, first night I actually have stickers on my broadcast. Yeah, a sticker. Yeah, a sticker indeed. Hello, me. That is happiness personified. In fact, I've uh, been happiness personified for about 35 years now. That's a rather old drawing of me. But uh, it's happened to be available there. So, hey. Well, anyway, so like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. I've collected uh, mess consoles over the years. Um, good heavens. Probably about a thousand video games uh, over the years as well. I don't trade them anything. So why not? So let's go ahead and kill the arcade sound in the background because we're going to do some driving games today. Oh my goodness, games in common. So driving games, driving games, they've been around since the very, very beginning. Back, matter of fact, Night Driver for the Atari VCS was one of the first driving games for a home console to begin with. There have been some countless others over the years, but we're going to focus on four of them tonight that uh, kind of have a distinction uh, for what they were. And uh, one of them is rather famous. A couple of them are rather famous. One of them is an actual driving simulator that if you played it in the arcade, it actually used realistic physics. In other words, a force feedback steering wheel. And uh, that was actually a rather interesting game from Atari. And, of course, you have to have some Super Monaco GP in there as well. So we'll take a look at the games as of uh, right now. And here are the games that we're going to be playing for tonight. Uh, first game up for, up for bat, excuse me, is OutRun. Uh, OutRun is an AM2 uh, game from Sega. And we're going to play the home version of this one. None of the games that will be featured tonight are arcade games. All of these will be home versions so that you can actually play them at home on your various consoles. In fact, the first three are going to be Genesis games. The fourth one's going to be a Nintendo 64 game. Hopefully that won't uh, crash everything I'm about to use. So OutRun from uh, AM2 and Sega, Gen Sega Genesis version, outstanding version as a matter of fact. Followed by the driving simulator, simulator excuse me, hard driving from Atari games. That was released back in the late 1980s. This was indeed the simulator. You had two tracks to choose from. You had more of a stunt track and you also had a regular, well, track, for lack of better terms. In this game, however, you also did some things like fighting traffic. You will actually have opposing traffic, various cars and trucks coming at you, and you had to try to stay on that road, because that was rather tough to do so. Then, Super Monaco GP, another Sega Classic. Another good game. Very good Genesis version, as a matter of fact. And then finally, Rush 2 Extreme Racing USA. This also was from Atari. Uh, this is for the Nintendo 64, and kind of took the uh, San Francisco Rush game and kind of flipped it on its head. Gave you brand new tracks to choose from. You even had a stunt track to play around with as well. So a lot of neat things to do on this particular game. So anyway, going back to uh, what I was saying before, now that we've introduced the five, uh, four games for tonight, um, I'm also going to have a, a special game as far as OutRun is concerned. Thank you. That's a short game. Jesus. Indeed. I imagine you must be talking about OutRun. Outrun is a, was one of the games I actually got a Genesis for, believe it or not. Because this was long, this was quite a bit before Sonic the Hedgehog made its debut. So, uh, let's go over to the, uh, also the activity that we've uh, experienced just over the last few days. Um, <laughs> oh, good heavens. Uh, I got some followers here. I got Molly Berry. Thank you for following. Appreciate it. Also have uh, Sh Shadow Blinky Speedy Pinky. Okay. Thank you for following. Uh, Eddie Ben, thank you for following. Also, I have a subscriber, London Last, subscriber Prime. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. 
Pants of Blue, thanks for following. Greatly appreciate it. You've actually been a uh, greatly help. I appreciate it uh, for following. Uh, you uh, helped me uh, kind of get past a uh, certain criteria. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Harry Balls Itch, subscribe with Prime. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. Holy cow. Vin32, Vin362. Hey, how are you doing tonight? Uh, let's see. How would be quiet? Give me a follow. Uh, rather, not a follow, but a shout out. Thank you. QCD Bug, thank you for following. Greatly appreciate it. Display Salad, my goodness. Thanks for following. Appreciate that as well. Lefty Game Video, subscribe for one month for one month at tier one. Thank you very much, Lefty. Greatly appreciate it. And of course, as I said, on the last gift today, tier one gifts up to Vin362. Whoever you are. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. So, like I said, tonight we're just going to do some racing games. Some driving games, to be more specific, because one of the games is not exactly a racing game per se. But it celebrates the fact that, uh, well, we love to drive. They've made all kinds of interesting games over the years. Um, they had a super they had a super sprint made by Atari back in the 70s, uh, where you actually had the steering wheel situated around the monitor. The monitor was actually um, horizontally like a table. So, it goes back quite a bit to the black and white days of video gaming. I'm going to fire up the old emulator for just a moment. First, I hit pause. Be right back. Sticker, the uh, unicorn fart. I do have one custom sticker, by the way. Uh, it's, uh, it's me. It's called Yay. Essentially, it's, uh, it's pretty much the. Uh, I had a sarcastic streak back in my uh, youthful days, and uh, I referred to myself as uh, in caricature as happiness personified. And uh, it was just a, uh, it was just a little joke between us buddies and stuff like that, because you know wasn't exactly a mean person, but I certainly had a little bit of snark in me from time to time. So, anyway, Outrun. This is the game. Uh, this is one of the first real big hit racing games from Sega. And this is uh, the Sega Genesis version. They've also made a Master System version, which is okay. Thank you for the boom. Really appreciate it. Let's see, we're going to have some... I see London Labs is going to have a field day with the stickers, yes, as I get oofed and boomed and farted on, and you name it. <laughs> oh, and tonight, folks, tonight, and only tonight, they are free. You keep that in mind. All right, let's go ahead and turn down the music then. Let's get this game started, shall we? Let's move the screen over just a little bit so I can actually see everything. There we go. Okay, so... Basically, this is a multi-tiered race tr track of sorts. Oh, uh, my God! Yes, oh, my God, indeed. You don't say. Stickers are covering the screen. Yes, Ben. Yes, and uh, if you'd like to activate the stickers, there's a little purple heart uh, where you can see on your screen somewhere. If you're using a phone, it's probably ab up above it. And if you hit the heart, you'll see a whole bunch of stickers, and, of course, then uh, you'll see that they all are worth zero. They are, they are free for tonight, so feel free to go ahead and, uh, well, blast away like London Labs has been doing. Very gleefully, I imagine. <laughs> Yay, a sticker. Yay, another sticker. Yay. All right, so here we go. We're going to play. Uh, let's hit the start button. Let's see. Uh, let's see what options I... Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, start options. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. 
I'm gonna play it easy for just make it as long as possible for me on this one. Let's play. So what should I ha listen to? P Magical Sound Shower, Passing Breeze, or Splash Wave? Pagu Bunny. Pagu Bunny is not one of the choices. I greatly appreciate the input, though. Uh, let's do Magical Sound Shower, Get shall ready? we? Okay, and let's go into high gear. And let's not crash into stuff. Ah, uh, yes. Out in the open highway! The top down. Blazing through traffic that seems to be incredibly slow in comparison to the speed that you're doing. And the object, of course, is to get to the checkpoint as quickly as possible. And uh, watch out because the turns are quite steep. You will crash into things if not careful. Like that. Good job. Let's get back on low gear. You can also crash into billboards and stuff like that, and you get flipped out of your car and everything like that. Palm trees. Wow. One thing I love about this this version, uh, this didn't have a frame rate. Wow, this didn't have a frame rate such as the arcade version. Thanks for the bonk. But it did uh, have the, certainly the speed for it. That's what the thing Genesis kind of boasts itself on was indeed the speed. It could actually do it. It was perfect for action games and other games such as this. I'm running out of time. Those two crashes kind of hurt me just a bit. Oh, gotta hurry. Checkpoint! Checkpoint! Woohoo! Absolutely. Nope. Yeah, that car's white. They also demonstrate that the thing can have hills too, which makes it kind of hard to see when the road's going to turn and such. Oh dear! Everyone's alright. Moving on. Keep going. Thank you for the stickers, London Laughs. Oops. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna sticker slap you silly, she says. Okay. Here, come on. I'm still in low gear. That's I'm still in low gear. Good job. Come on, Pac Man. You can do it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. I'm going as fast as I can. Ah! Yeah, that doesn't help at all. And that's it. Ah! Didn't get far at all, did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's see, where did I rank? I ranked fourth. Where's with the? Nani? Indeed. Thank you very much. Let's see. Call that an end right there. Good stuff. Okay, you can get off, please. You're off. Off. Bye. Okay. I'll try a different round with some different music this time. Ho, ho, nope. Ho, ho, nope, indeed. Passing breeze. Let's try Get this ready? one. Out. Right. That's uh, the music everyone remembers without run. Basically, it's, it's uh, Malvern use uh, for the Genesis was similar hardware to the system. Um, 32 that they used for the arcade games to scale down. Didn't have um, certain scaling features. I just couldn't take a couldn't take a pixel and make it you know a bit smaller. Wow. Somebody's having a little too much fun there with that sticker board. <laughs> Oop, whoa. Oh wow. No, don't crash, no, no, no. Ah. Okay, let's try this again. But it did certainly have the processing power. Hey, Ben. 
triggers are offline on your phone, you say. Oh, dear. Are you getting an offline message? Checkpoint, there it is. 70 seconds, can't crash. Chose the same stupid path that I did last time. I crashed in the same stupid tree as I did last time. Didn't get this and actually remember to get in the high gear. Good heavens. Yeah, how fun this is. <laughs> oh! You found the sticker? There, excellent, here we go. Oh, 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 I'm teaming with these, man. We got this. We can do it. Can we make it to the goal in 23 seconds? Of course, realistically, the answer is no! I'm gonna try anyway. Now, the people who made this game also made Puppy arguably Bunny. one of the most famous. Thank you for the sticker. Left the game videos. Oh, the Pago Bunny. Yes, everyone's favorite. Oh, hey. Out. I'm about to game out here. As I was trying to say. <laughs> oh, it's right in between gears. Let's see. How bad did I do? I did just as poorly. Yes! At least I'm consistent. And I'm fifth this time. Uh, a little worse. Uh, well, it's way worse, I guess. You working for on a new avatar? Okay. Ping to okay, cool. Very cool. Yeah, the avatar I, I couldn't I was previously using Pac-Man, of course I can't use that because uh, that might uh Upset some folks over at Namco. Should it, you know, in the event of things. And uh, so I use a caricature that I've uh, had for the last three and a half decades, and that's uh, me, Happy Happiness Personified. Back when I was a teenager, is when I used that. And uh, I'm still as cheerful as ever. Listen to the lounge music. waves in the background as we relax. And this put people to sleep. Okay, so. Thank you. Oh, cheers. Yes, cheers. Alright, so this is what we're going to do now. Uh, there is a second OutRun. Uh, they made in the arcades called OutRunners, and that was a, a competitive, you, you actually had multiplayer OutRun, which was really cool. But for the Sega Genesis owners of the day, they actually had a different game called Outrun 2019. So it's 1990-ish or so, and they're imagining what traffic would look like 30 years from then. And of course, for us here in present yeah, day... Yeah, a sticker. Yeah, yeah, sticker. Thank you. Um, 2019, of course, was you know three, year, three or four years ago. So let's see how this turned out. See if any of the predictions of how traffic life in the in the 21st century came about. So let me pause that and let me switch to capture. Okay. Let me turn it down so I don't blast open eardrums, namely mine. Okay. There we go. Everything is grand now. So let's take a look at OSIMS. They're the developer of this thing. And I have to admit, I rented this from Blockbuster back in the day. And I said to myself, really? With a little snazzy jazzy opening sequence. So let's see what we've got here. Let's got some options. 
<laughs> Why? Because, Vin, because. You have to understand, it was the 90s, damn it. And there's, a, and there's time for clacks. Well, that's the wrong game. Uh, let's make that normal. Okay. Interesting. Try that again. There we go. Hard. No, no, no. I'm a wimp. Easy. Easy will do. No name. That sounds good for me. Well, no name. Okay, there's our track. As you can see it starts there. There's R1, there's R2 and 3. Not as complicated nor as a uh, fork in the road-ish as the original. But hey, welcome to this. Appreciate it. Okay, do I shift here? This is what cars look like in the future. Don't you remember in 2019 when your cars looked like this? At 570 miles per hour? Look at that. The Batmobile effect. And look at that, I got guardrails and everything. Absolutely. Ramps on the road and the whole nine yards. Just think I could actually fly off the road. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, there I go. Bye. Oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine owning a Batmobile? I mean, honestly. It'd be like the coolest thing on earth. No, that. Uh... Bruce Wayne or Tony Stark? I don't know if I. I don't know if I would want to be Bruce Wayne in that regard. That um, I appreciate it. I don't know what I'd do with that. You'd be Tony Stark. I think I would be Tony Stark too. I honestly would. He, he went. He went through a bit of less trauma. Not a whole lot less, but uh, well, no. I mean, if you think about it, they both had a similar issue with their parents. Okay, it's down the road, down the road, down the road. You see, then, if I were Batman as Bruce Wayne, and I have to have a sidekick like Robin, that would drive me insane. Holy steering wheel, Batman, you can't drive! Yes, thank you. Thank you, Robin. You can leave now. See that button that says eject? Go ahead and hit it, please. Ah, oh, yes. Good so this is this is driving in 2019. As you can see, it's just like yesterday. Just like my own neighborhood. My Batmobile, Major Fortress City, Landscape. Everything's a three-lane highway. Am I gonna make? Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Yes, I did. Heck yeah! Thank you. I got this. With those uber-safe overpasses that have no railing on them whatsoever, so you can just careen right off the road. Look at that. Go right into the ocean here. Especially with this nice turn. Like that. Look at that. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the unlucky sticker. Oh! Jesus. Yep. Perfect. Okay, it looks like they have a little bear is there. Oh! Okay, you've gone airborne again. Airborne is good. Especially you help boost your immune system. Oh, jeez. I can do it. I make it to the end here. You hear the really super duper music that they have playing in the background. And all, all, all the sense of urgency of the Mickey Mouse Club. 
Chao Khan will start. Yes. Oh. Hey, I made it. Go. Yay, I made it to the end. 500 miles per hour. So uber realistic. Hmm. Showing my lousy score. My lousy times, rather. How about that? Next stage? Hmm. Yeah, we'll try. Now, what's this next stage? Start. 80 seconds. Here we go. We've got this. Straight out of the bat cave. Thank you very much. That's, that's London last back there, by the way. That was a sneeze. That was not one of the stickers, by the way. That's, uh, exactly. Thank you. Thank you, Lefty. Appreciate that. Oh! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, uh, this seems just like my, my hometown city here. <laughs> Thank you for the RIP. Oh. Well, perfect timing for that sticker, as a matter of fact. And look at the transparent overpass. Transparent aluminum? That's the ticket, Daddy. Thank you, Star Trek 4. Cool idea. Oh, wouldn't it? Well, they already make, you know, resins and polymers that are pretty darn durable in the first place, but... Not enough to hold whales. Water. Oh my goodness! Go 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 go! Yes. This is gonna be close. Under the gun! Look at that. Now, was that supposed to be a Scottish accent? It, it. Yeah, sure. If you put your hand over your ears while I talk, it sounded like more of a Scottish accent that way. I think. Especially if you hummed a lot. game uh, didn't fare as well as the original Outrun. Can't imagine why. I mean, it was the 90s. We did have some interesting ideas of how things would look like in the 21st century. Some were right. A lot weren't. Yay, a sticker. Yay, a sticker. Thank you, Ben. It's funny, though. My car didn't look anything like this. I don't know how I made that. Look at the ruins up ahead. Oh, my goodness. Sightseeing time, folks. Grab your cameras. Or your phones. That's right. We don't have really use cameras much anymore. Now we use our smartphones iPhone or Galaxy or Google? Ah! Wow, really? Really? I drove, yeah, it's funny, I drove all the way to Greece. I was, one time, my brother and I, we were in a McDonald's uh, having lunch, we were on break, and uh, we found these two girls, they had a little carousel, you know, one of those mini car carousels uh, there. In the dining area, and these uh, two were taking a train to Hawaii. And of course, we're in the mainland United States at the time. And we were just imagining that will be certainly an interesting train ride. This is like the supercar. This is almost like the Blues Brothers car. Blues Mobile. Takes all kinds of brutal damage. Get on the road. The road. Road. Thank you. Oh, the girls, those girls, uh, they must have been probably. I would guess not five, if that. But it was an interesting concept. I love the idea that they were going to travel to Hawaii by train.
but no, they, uh, they had a good imagination for that. I'll, I'll give them that. Did I suddenly end up pod racing? It seems like it. I'd rather pod race. Oh, good lord. All those incomplete roads that we had that we have to use ramps. 2019. Oh, there I go. Bye. Okay. How safety the DOT has become. Safety minded. Department of Transportation would be proud. Come on. There you go. Boost that uh, right, right to the ditch. Excellent. Sounds like to me they've run out of music. For it's the same few bars over and over again. <laughs> Didn't expect the player to be, to be as sucky as me, I guess. Huh? Come on! I can do it! Six seconds! Five! Four! Three! Two! My goodness. By the skin of my teeth. I'm gonna guess it's a ditch. That's rather rectangular for a tar pit. Okay, that wasn't too good. 46. That's not bad. Yeah, it does. Uh, well, let's see. This was after Sonic. The first game, the first outrun was made pre-Sonic. This, this one was made two years after Sonic. Sonic was 91 game. No, hell no. We're getting, we're getting hell out of this game. Good God. That was kind of painful. Anyway, that's outrun. <laughs> That's outrun for the uh, for the Genesis and outrun 2019 uh, four years ago memories just like driving rip roaring through the highway falling into ditches and over overpasses into the water absolutely that's the way every game should be well then having said that we're going to hit pause and I'm going to uh, change up the game we're going to do some hard driving in a second stay tuned just like real life indeed.
Once again, thank God. Thank you, Lefty. Hmm. I was muted that whole time. <laughs> Perfect start. Excellent. <laughs> Let's try it again. Hang on. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Thank you. So where was I? Hard, hard driving. Hard driving was a driving simulator from Atari back in the late 1980s. Two, two tracks to choose from. You have the stunt track and you have the speed track. Here I'm doing anything but speed. Uh, the arcade game had a better frame rate than this. Uh, a little bit more detailed textures, but not by much. But this was the first game, this not the first game, but like the second game or so, to actually use polygons instead of sprites to uh, pretty much be visuals on the game. I cannot believe I actually have to check one. Cannot believe I actually have to check one, yeah. Good job. Thank you, by the way, I appreciate that. Or uh, let me know that I was muted the whole time. Now there is a second game. <laughs> yeah. First night as affiliate, and here I am. Um. Hey, good. Let's try the other track now. Oh no no no! Gotta hit the barn. <sighs> really? Hey, there's a cow there. Back on the road, yep. You suck. Alright. There was a sequel to this called Race Driving, which had more advanced tracks. I want to hit the cow. It's not clipping through, it's a two dimensional cow, to be fair. It's a cardboard cow. Now, this, as, as far as traffic and all that kind of stuff, there, wait, wait, wait. yes, there you go. Thank you, cow. This is my way of showing love. Alright. I gotta I gotta be fast enough so I can jump this without hitting that truck. Good job. Yes. Now we'll get through this. Thirteen seconds to go. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. Now if you think about it, this is more realistic than Outrun 2019 because Wherever you live, if you live in the major city, the impacts are amazing. Yes, indeed. What the hell did I hit? Oh, I got hit from behind. <laughs> Excellent. No, if you live in the thing, if you live in the big city and you get rear-ended by a fast-moving car who's not paying attention, or you, you yourself are not paying. Yeah, thank you. Wow. You're kidding. Analog stick is not letting me do this. Uh -huh. no. I had it! I had it! Yay! And I'm going to literally not press my lock on this one. What was I saying? The impacts are amazing, yeah. If you're living in a major city, this is more realistic than Outrun 2019, if you really think about it. Now here the frame rate is actually decent. Now, let's see, we're gonna try that. we're gonna try the stunt track one more time. Alright. I got this. This will be easy. Am I doing 60? No, I'm not. Hit the truck, sure am. <laughs> it was a pretty good crashing effect. Um, and it, it spared no expense of laughing at you. Yes, good job. Wow, that's interesting. Imagine what my insurance policy would be like on this. Oh! Hey. All right, what the hell happened here? I overshot, <laughs> overshot the landing. Am I passed it at least? No, they're gonna make me do it again. Son of a bitch. 
Oh, I made it. Okay, 40 miles per hour. I'm glad they told me now. Yep, there you go. Now next is the loop-de-loop. After I crash into the gas station. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, and a truck managed to do that. If that, if that truck can do it, so can I. Okay, wow. Whoa. Yes, of course. Yep. Yep. No, we're not gonna watch that. Good job. Thank you, yes. I can do this. So when you play in the arcade, you actually could sit in a... Yep. 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 When you play in the arcade, you can actually sit in a car. You, you couldn't even adjust your seat. But the game had one of the first features of a force feedback steering wheel. In other words, the steering wheel fought you. Boy, did it. And it was merciless, too, I can tell you. Yeah, you know, I'm chicken. Oh, yes, of course. Yes, I did. Yep. Yep, went right on over. Good job. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. <laughs> almost, almost timed it perfectly there, London Lass. By the way, stickers are free tonight, so feel free to use them. Yeah, I'm getting there. I gotta make it. I gotta make it to the end here. Come on. You know what? Screw this. I'm just doing it off the road. Okay? Doesn't count. Too bad. There. There, I did it. Yay, I did it. No one was looking. I guess. <laughs> hey, see? Look at that. Progress. Perfect. First dish try. No drama, Thank you. No drama indeed. I got this. this it's always a chore to put your damn initials in a frickin' game. I had it. There you go. Oh, hello. Right over here. Bye. <laughs> That's hard driving. I'm gonna try one more time because I am a slut for punishment. I want to get that damn stunt track. Here we go. I can do it. Here we go. Good start. I'm going to let all the cars pass me this time, because then that would give me a fighting chance to actually make this turn without killing myself. And that cow. So far, so good. I forgot there's a car still going my way. I, yeah. I clipped into the bridge, I see. No, I just I just exploded in midair. That tells me I'm driving a Pinto. It's the only thing I could think of. Thank you. Yep. Yep, yep. Last thing I do, I will get the no, I'm too fast. Now I'm not on the road. Now I'm not on the bridge. Okay. I got the 60 miles per hour. Straight and narrow. Bam! <laughs> Thank you. Off the road, I don't care, I made it. Try not to crash into the gas station. Go through the loop de loop. Hopefully, I won't collide with another car. And actually, stay on. No, nope, I collided with another car. <laughs> yep, somebody else was on it. Good job. I'm probably going to see a lot of those RIPs, aren't I? The hell out of my way. I, will do, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Yay, did it. Okay, and I hit an invisible barrier. <sighs> I'm running out of fuel. Oh my god! And they're gonna make me do this again. I somehow missed that other car. <laughs> yes, 
this. Mm -hmm. You all are, you know, if it hadn't been for your all support, you know, it's screw this. There, there, you want there? Okay, there, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. See? Thank you for your support, folks. I appreciate it. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> I've got to get the damn stop the track. Okay. I got this. I got this. Yep. No. <laughs> Right before, oh good, it means I never made that turn. Okay, yep, off the road. And I'm gonna head 60, 60 miles per hour, slow down, skip. 60 miles per hour, I'm too fast, too fast, too fast. Yep, okay, made it. Excellent, 40 miles per hour. Right to the gas station, yep. Gonna hit the loop to loop hopefully there won't be another car. There is another car there, hopefully I won't hit it. And nope, I hit it. Thank you, okay. Yep, thank you, Van. Thank you, London Lass. Back at the gas station. Yes. These are the global stickers, too. So i got to come up with some ideas for the... Get that, that... First of all, it's a truck on this thing. Thank you, London Lass. Same truck. Yeah, can't do anything about that either. Fantastic. <laughs> Sticker parties are enabled, but you have to earn. It has to reach a certain criteria in bits, and because they're all free, guess what's not going to happen? So, are we here to watch me crash? Uh, that seems to be what's happening. That was not my intention. My intention was to actually, you know, like. Complete this course. Barely missing that car. Uh, going way too fast on that and colliding with the barrier. Good job. Yep, yep. Oh, you gotta keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay, I made a pass checkpoint. Moving on. Invisible. It it knows me. Okay. Yep. Hit the invisible barrier because. <laughs> yeah, I hit the sign. Yeah. I I I'm hitting. Well, there are there are invisible uh, invisible barriers. <sighs> Thank you, Vin. Uh, there are invisible barriers on the track, so. That's all right. Now, if you don't know, London Last is in the room here. She's uh, she's double webbing me by uh, texting uh, in chat here, as well as laughing behind me because uh, I'm playing so superbly. There, look at look at that. You got Pack. You got no name. You got ah. You got Pack and oh, Phantom Photon, Footloose, Mustang Sally, Street Legal, Leadfoot, No 55. Oh, God, I love Atari. I will get this done. Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Thank you. Okay. Get out of my way. I gotta hit a car. No, 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 no. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yep. Edge cares away. Right into the barn. Here on Fraggle Rock. <laughs> this, is the, this, this is the time now where good old pack here goes insane. Right, yep. Wow. Under the bridge. Wow, that's pretty impressive. How the hell did I do that? I went right on through. Thanks. 
thank God. Okay. Now that we... Yep, that's right. Yep, 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 yep. Gotta get back down. Yep, nope, hit the invisible barrier. It's just seeing, you know, your car is just idly in the green field and just self-destructs. Perfect sense. Okay, 60 miles per hour. Will I be hit there? No. Too slow, too slow. Nope, perfect. Okay. <laughs> Fell off the road. <laughs> How you really feel, London? <laughs> pro gamer here. I'm a pro gamer. There. The water froze. Thank you, Ghost of Boo. Thank you, Vin. I'm not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Cool story, bro. Thank you, thank you, yes. It was a cool story. And you guys got a story out of that? I'm amazed. Okay. Almost there. There you go. Perfect. Alright. Am I being told to hydrate? Alright. We got this. Thank you all for joining here. By the way, thank you, Lefty. Thank you, Ben. Of course, London Lass. Still got a lot to go here. See, I can do it. If you just don't recall the last, I don't know, 27 minutes, I did it, okay? I actually made... Thank you, see? Thank you very much. Thank you. That was a lot of effort on my part. A lot of crashing. But uh, as long as you forgot that last bit there where I didn't do it, I actually did do that. Okay? Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. I'm amazed myself, Ben. I truly am. Thank you for the stickers, by the way. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Thank you. Turn off the TV for that. Oh, my goodness. Well, this time I'm going to try to unmute it after I switch the game over. So I appreciate Lefty for pointing out that uh, I can be a complete doofus. And uh, spam is fun. Yes, spam is fun. Spam is awesomely fun. I like spam sliced up and fried on a fry on, a, on an iron skillet with a with a fried egg. That kind of not that kind of spam. Thank you for the sticker, Lefty. Or cheese, if you remember the old game. Yes. Pagu Bunny. Pagu Bunny. Oh, I love the Pagu Bunny. Not really. I don't understand what the... Pagu Bunny. I don't understand... I, I have to imagine there must have been some... There must have been some consumption of some interesting substances. Possibly from a liquor store. When that particular sticker was made. But I could be wrong. Oh, we sp spam, wonderful spam, lovely spam. <laughs> Thank you, Lennon Lass. Oh, switch the game out. What the hell am I playing next? Super Monaco GP, okay. I totally forgot. Makes sense. Super Monaco GP. Another fun game. Back in the day. And make sure I don't deafen people. Wow. wow, indeed. And this time, actually remember to put the capture on it so we all can see it instead of a blank screen like we're looking at right now. <laughs> yeah, that, that works. Man. Oh, oh, you fooled me. <laughs> yeah, I turned 
upside down, I thought. With that realistic 16-bit graphics there. With its 64 color palette. The Sega Genesis did not have the supreme color palette like the Super Nintendo did. The Super Nintendo had a full 256 color back in the day. That's what they had. Heck yeah. Thank you. Thank you, London Last. Thank you, Van. Thank you, Lefty. Got him. Yep. Everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so professional racing. Big thing. Oh, look at the vibrating engine. Yep. Thank you. Thank you for the bad move. Look at that. Engine specifications and everything. And look at the heat as it go by. So they, Yeah, they did a lot of work on this particular game. They, as a pro, Apart from the arcade game, this was actually quite good. Thank you, Ben. Yeah, join the fun. Throw stickers at me. I don't care. Easy. Indeed. I'll figure out what to do for the channel points, too. I have a few ideas. Of course, working full-time uh, back at the office, as opposed to what I was uh, before. Makes it a little tougher. But... I go insane at work, so you know, I come up with interesting ideas. Let's hit start and let's see what I got here. I can play free practice. I can play Super Mario GP World Championship. I'm here. Options. What are my options? Control type A. Level normal. No, easy. Language English, BGM Extreme Tension. Okay, so the usual Sega options of the day. Thank you. Let's see what free practice does. I can either race in the San Marino, which is round one, like 3,002, uh, 3, 3,520 meters. The best lap is just under a minute and a half. Or Brazil, look at that one. 3,488 meters, just above a minute and a half with the best lap. France. 3,072 meters, or a minute 21. Thank you for the band hammer. Hungary, over 3,200 meters in length, and a minute 29. West Germany, 3,744 meters, or one minute 33. Thank you for the twerky. And of course, good old US of Ah. Indeed. 3,500 plus meters and a minute 32 is the best lap. And then there's good old Canada. You know, that's America Light. 3,360 meters and a flat minute and a half. Thank you for the sticker, London Lass. So, oh, and there's Great Britain. There's one for you, London Lass. Great Britain. 3,456 meters and a minute 29. Thank you for the Poggle Buddy. And Italy. A little over 3,800 meters and a minute 31. Bunny. That gets my vote. Which one? London? Uh, the Great Britain? I believe that's the last Paco one. Bunny. No, there's Portugal. Over 3,200 meters. Bunny. Minute and a half. And there's Spain. Paco oh Bunny. God, how many the hell did they have? Mexico. Bunny. Japan. Belgium. Paco Bunny. Newark. No, it's Australia. Excuse me. And of course, Monaco. We're going to go for Great Britain. Do this. We're going to do this for London last. I can get back over there. Oh, that, there we go. Next. Because I'm a wimp and I don't like uh, driving in stick, we're going to do it automatic, even though it's the lesser speed, but you know what? It's worth it. Because I'm a beginner. Here we go. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Absolutely! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh Absolutely. My god. Oh, they're throwing all kinds of stickers. Oh my god! We're gonna make our own sticker party by due to sheer brute repetitiveness. Indeed. This is not too bad. And I know there's gonna be a sharp turn here. Oh, good job. I 
indeed. Thank you. So this was a rather cool track, I have to admit. Fairly easy. A bit sharp in the corners. Gonna get a hairpin here in just a second. Controls are a lot easier than the previous two games. There you go. Minute two. Oh, I just hit the tires. Thank you. Headshot. Absolutely. Especially in this game. Wait. Come on. There we go. Oh. Killing spree. Yes. So this is like a Sega version of Pole Position, if you remember that game from uh, Atari and Namco back in the early 1980s, where in Pole Position you had the Suzuka track, but in Pole Position 2, with the sequel, you had all kinds of tracks, four tracks as a matter of fact. This one's kind of like, oh, wrong one. Turn right instead of left. Dear. Blew that record up. Oops. Oops indeed. Oh, that's not too bad. Seven seconds off the last mark. Do one more lap, then we're gonna actually play a real one. Mod love, that'd be yep, I've got, got a mod here. London last is my mod. Don't know what I would do without her. I need that absolute hurts. Absolutely. Now, if you notice, I drive right down the middle on the line, just like every driver down where I live. Because who needs lanes when you can just drive down the middle like a slot car? I actually saw today there were um, three cars in the uh, rightmost lane. There was no right turn lane. And a car apparently didn't want to wait for the light to turn green, so it went, oh my goodness, I wrecked my car. That's what I get for talking while driving. See that, kids? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I saw a car get into the middle lane, go around the three cars in the right lane, and made a right turn at a red light. But what was worse, there was a cop car on the other side of the intersection that did nothing. That's good old here. Cool story, bro. A absolutely. I thought it was. I remember just like it was only a couple hours ago. Probably because it was only a couple hours ago. But hey, you know. So, fantastic memories. No, I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Press A, B, and C for the menu. Eh. And I did it again. There has to be a way out of this. Okay, excellent. Let's do an actual Super Monaco Gup. So let's see what I got to choose from. I get to choose the car. And I have 29 seconds. Hmm. Could I go 550, 11,000 RPM, or I can go this and get 600, or 850. I can drive like a maniac, or I can drive like the little old lady from downtown Pasadena. Hmm. Choices. Choices, choices. I only have 8 seconds. Hang on. Okay. I got it. I got it. Preliminary race. Oh, easy peasy. Good start. So I had my foot on the brake. That's the perfect way to start your car. By starting with the brake on, by the way, that means that you're ready to go. In case of an accidental emergency start, at least you can be stopped. Thank you for the bonk. Okay, yes. Mm. Love the fact there's also a rear view mirror up there. 14th, not too bad. Dead last, yes. That's me. Dead last. The opposite of pole position. I wasn't wrong, I was just wasn't right. 
Ha! See, I got you. Don't play semantics with me. Got this under control. That first turn. Oh, a little bit of backfire there, but that's okay. Everything's under control. They're all my best friends in the back there. Catching up with me as I try not to hit those tires. I'm not going to listen. I'm driving, damn it. And I hit the checkpoint. Hmm. That might hurt my chances of winning. Hmm. Boop. Don't think that worked out too well. I retired? Not fair. I can do this. I feel like I got this. Thank you for the sticker. MVP, that's me. And that's the usual reaction I get, too. Look at the beautiful city landscape there. I don't know if you guys remember a game called Bump and Jump. It was uh, made by Data East a long, long time ago. But uh, man, it went right on by me. Thank you. Where you, you literally are driving at a, a speed where you wind up jumping. 14th, that's me. Spam is fun, yes. Thank you, Ben. Glad you're all enjoying that. Bump and jump, where you would, uh, you would be uh, dodging other cars, obtaining fast enough speed so you can actually jump cars and jump over chasms and everything like that. Could you imagine if they did a first person? Yay, race? a sticker. Thank you. Oh, there's me again. Happiness personified. Tis I. So, what. Where that came about is that we had to do a drawing of ourselves uh, for a little thing that we were doing for radio. And that's kind of where that came from. That is the radio version of me. And it has been me for the last three and a half decades. Okay, cruising at 300. Oh, I'm in a tunnel. Look at that tunnel like speeds. Yes. Hey, well, hmm, I was first place. Let's see if I remain first place. Who knows? You never know. Cool story, bro. Thank you, London Lass. Retired. 14th? Man. But hey, I got 193 points. You like it? Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, Lefty. All good things. I'm gonna do one more free practice until I crash. Great Britain? No. Canada? No. We're gonna go good old Usa. And look at that landscape here. Yep, exactly. Excuse me. Doesn't that look like United States? Typical Grand City Usa. Oh, me. Okay, good start. Looks like Beach City, USA, wherever that is. Once again, driving down the highway. Of course, USA has nothing but 90 degree turns, no matter where you are. Except for this little bitty job here. Driving down the middle of the road. Excuse me. There I go. Yep. This might be a pretty good lap here if I do, right? Absolutely. Fantastic. I got it. 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 That last turn was not good. 
<laughs> Indeed. Now that's what I do every time I drive. Oh. Come on. Giggle like a nervous maniac as I drive down the road. No, Wonder why everyone is looking at Thank you. I'm noticing you. Nani? Yes. Wonder why I'm getting some strange stares as I cackle down the road. Perfect. See, where I live is your typical megalopolis style city. And we have certain rules, you know, like the speed limit is just merely a suggestion. You haven't really run the red light until you're about eighth doing so. All good fun like that. Again, why you use the right lane to turn right when you can use any other lane on the road? Tailgating is more like it's more like a magnetron. You actually are connected magnetically to the car in front of you. And you must have your high beams on, folks. No matter what time of night, no matter how many cars are around you. Because I just wonder what what can't you see that the rest of us can? Ah, come on, come on. Get away from those tires. I got this. Thank you. A hey, last trip around. Thank you. And then we're going to play some Rush 2. Rush 2. Excuse me. Not, not Rust. Sega made some really good uh, racing games, so I will say that. Grant, uh, the um, arcade I used to go to had four big, I mean the giant models. The Daytona USA right there at the front door. So as soon as you opened the door, you practically were blown backwards from the sound back outside, so you really couldn't get in. And it was Daytona USA right there. I also had Sega Rally, which was an excellent game. It's like a touring car, which was pretty cool. Gina models? Uh, no. Of course, I remember playing the old pole position back when I was a kid. Sit down model. That's not what I said. You have Daytona USA for Sega Saturn. Yes, so did I. In fact, that was one of the reasons why I bought a Sega Saturn. Now, I was working for the Electronics Boutique. If you remember them, the later they would be EV Games. Later they would be GameStop, as they are now. Uh, but I actually bought a Sega Saturn, uh, largely for Daytona USA. And even though it wasn't perfect, and it ran at a whopping 24 frames per second, it was fun as hell. And of course, you got the great soundtrack, it was just an overall awesome game. Me too. I love that game as well. Now, if you uh, got the Sega Saturn, you also had a chance to play Sega Rally. Sega Rally, that conversion that they did, was absolutely over the top. It was wonderful. I really liked the Sega Saturn. A lot of people, you know, the, the 3D graphics engine was, you know, so, so it wasn't really designed to be a 3D engine of any kind whatsoever. It was, uh, they mainly made it for 2, 2D games, but... 3D games were getting really popular, so of course they themselves put out Virtua Fighter, a Model 1 game. So why not? And of course their Model 2 games, like Daytona USA and Virtua Fighter 2, took off in the uh, smoothness in the uh, 3D department. But now my favorite uh, thing about Saturn is that I love that when people were playing Tomb Raider for the PlayStation. Pretty sure you remember that one. And they were like complimenting the graphics. Oh, the graphics look fantastic. Big 3D environment. Yeah, it was programmed on a Saturn. It was actually ported over to the PlayStation. So that's your little bit of trivia for today. Published by a company called Items. Beat my time, I'll be happy man. If don't beat my time, I wouldn't be surprised. 
Because if I can't do it, bet on it. Alright, so. We're almost there. Minute nine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sega Saturn did have, you know, it had the great CD player. It actually had a karaoke um, package along with it as well. You can actually uh, change the pitch, remember that, without changing tempo. That was pretty cool in case that you wanted to sing, but you couldn't sing in that key, so you could change the key. Uh, it had a wonderful CD, as opposed to PlayStation CD player, which really was more than basic. A sticker. That's that. I mean, yeah, a sticker indeed. Oh yes, I love messing around with the pitch. Uh, it was great, especially with, you know some of the some of the uh, stranger sounds, uh, songs you know from various groups. Fun stuff. Bye bye, Monaco GP. It was nice knowing you. Good times. Good times indeed. Where am I? Where am I? There I am. Okay. There I am. Happiness personified. I gotta change the emulator here for a second, so I'll be right back. And I hope to actually unmute myself because I do stuff like that. Which one should I play? I will play some gazing. Yes. Thank you for the fart sticker. I actually get to say that. Be right back. Yay, a sticker. Yay, a sticker. That didn't go well. Try this again. Stand by. Y'all want some real fun with the stickers? Oh yeah? Oh yeah? If you stream, you get to do that too. Love how it tries to catch up with what I just did up there at the top. Hey, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it down just a tad. This is a fairly loud game. I'm going to hit the capture. I to actually see it. I do not see it. Okay. Hmm. It was working before. Let's see what it shows on the TV. Nope. Hmm. Okay, reset. Oh, there it is. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Perfect. Alright, so this is a fun game for me. I love this game. And it's called Rush 2. It's made after San Francisco Rush. Get a little bit of clipping with the uh, graphics here. It's not perfect, but hey, what is? Yes, they were. I love San Francisco Rush. I really did. I thought it was a magnificent game. Uh, 
Love the arcade version in particular. See, I believe this is Las Vegas. Because it looks just like it. I'm gonna have some frame drops here, I know. My computer is not exactly the best computer for this stuff. Wife just came home, need to lurk while listening to her day. Absolutely. Understood, Lefty. Thanks for hanging in there. I'll see you in a bit, okay? Let's see what we got here. Rush 2. Okay. Hmm. I can do one race. I can do a whole circuit. I can practice. And I can set up everything here, too. We're going to do one race. What the heck? Ah, we're going to just play. Don't need to create details. Let's see where I can race today. Hmm. I got Las Vegas. Hey, slow down there, Skip. New York downtown. Ah, with the bridge and everything. Hawaii. Thank you for the boom. Zelda is a great franchise. It is a great fran franchise. I totally agree. I love Zelda. Thank you. I will not panic. Ah, ah. New York uptown. Look at that. Central Park and all. Alcatraz. Yes, you can... Race through the famed jail of yesteryear. Los Angeles. Everyone's dream of racing down the streets, and you can actually see the Hollywood sign and everything. Seattle, because it's there. Your favorite game in the franchise is Ocarina of Time? Yeah, Alcatraz was the jail, uh, Vin. Uh, it was an island with a maximum security prison. It was supposed to be unescapable, or inescapable. And uh, if apparently somebody, if I compare people, did indeed escape from Alcatraz. Made a terrific movie about it, too, I think. Uh, and uh, it actually got challenged on Mythbusters, and lo and behold, yeah, they, uh... Not enough room for a racetrack? Oh, yeah. This is San Francisco rushed. Anywhere has room. Anyway, back to Los Angeles. Seattle, for again, it's there. Thank you. Halfpipe. Uh, no. And the crash test. You see, lots of hills, lots of impossible turns. Just waiting for you to crash. Damn, son. Thank you. And of course, stunt track. Might fool around with that track in a little bit. But first. Uh, let's see, where shall we go? You asked about it, we will deliver it to you, sir. Or ma'am, or whoever you are. Alcatraz. Dunsfold, I wish. Oh, if we'd had that, that'd be great. <laughs> now, we could be a pickup truck, we could be a compact car, or you can pick, put a giant sized penny there, so you can do wheelies. You could be a muscle car, and that looks like a Jaguar, if anything. And you can be a mobster. It kind of reminds me of the car. Remember that movie from 19, what, 75 or 7 or whatever those years? Universal Studios movie. About a, a demon possessed car. Or I could drive a sedan, which is kind of reminiscent of my car, except it's the wrong color. And then there's the bandit. Is that a Trans Am? By golly, it is. Beep, 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 beep. And then there's a coupe, or coupe, as they say sometimes. And then there's the exotic car. By the way, you can easily crash in this game. You will wreck parts of your car easily in this game. And, of course, everyone's favorite sports car, the van. <laughs> Look worse than 2019. It, well, remember, this is a Nintendo 64. A sportster. That's nice. A, eh. a subcompact. Oh my goodness. It's the Geek Mobile, except the wrong colors. And a concept car. A car that's not made it into full production. A hatchback. A cruiser. Oh my goodness. A stallion. Hmm. That would be a Mustang, if I'm not mistaken. A bug it is. You know, I was thinking that too. As soon as I saw that, I gotta have a bug. Gotta have the bug. Bring back the old days. Two, Oops. Rush. I 
like to do it in the first person view so I can see what I'm crashing into head on. Here we go. Now, I don't know how accurate this is to the actual electronic gaming magazine. Everyone remember them? Absolutely. Sweet deal. I don't know how accurate this is to the actual Alcatraz. Look at that product placement of Mountain Dew. Indeed. Yay, a sticker. Yay, a sticker. Checky point. Get out of my way. Oh. Oh, there was a tunnel I could have gone through. Bugger. I'm not doing the loop. Not today. Going through the jail cells. Look at that. All the comforts of home. Provided your home was jail. As I pretend to not fishtail. Yes. Oh, I gotta make it. Thank you. Another loop to loop. Which I will not do, but I will crash into it for posterity. Crash once too often there, Packy. Sure did. Oh, oh, there's the checkpoint right there. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes. It gave me a four whole seconds. Plenty of time. Yep, there we go. Uphill, uphill, coast, uphill. Second place. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. I want to do something here on my browser here. Let me turn and pause that for a second. Absolutely. Turn that off. That should be a little bit better. I don't know why that sent twice. Ah, don't worry about it. Okay. I'll look at those later. Thank you for the hype sticker. Appreciate it. Glad you're all having a good time with those stickers. We have our seasonal sticker as well, especially out of season seasonal sticker. What do I want to do next? I want to do another race. This time I want to do a city. We did Alcatraz. There's Los Angeles. There's Seattle. Let's do downtown New York. And once again, we're going to have the hip most hip speedster car in the world, the subcompact. Hello, I'll, I'll get in just a second. Oh, thank you. Three, two, one, run. Perfect timing. Absolutely. Perfect countdown. Oh, nope. Ho, ho, nope. Indeed. Thank you for the stickers. Oh, my goodness. And you know what was really cool? The music for this game wasn't... Oh, good lord. Yes. 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 Oh. <laughs> hmm. May have overdone it there. Okay, I can do this. I got this. Music wasn't too bad for this game, I tell you. Little smudge there on the car. 45 miles per hour. Pshaw. Thank you. Stop signs. Stop signs mean nothing around here. And look at that upside down view. Perfect. Doesn't get any better than that. That interactive traffic light there. Burning up the roads there. Okay, okay, straight up, straight up, straight up. There you go. Okay, like it, it rammed into from the rear there. Yep, thank you for the sticker. I got this, folks. Easy peasy. Nine seconds and a crash. Couldn't have timed that better. Through the fast checkpoint. 
Perfect. Once again, EGM. Love that magazine back in the day. Everyone read EGM back in those days. That and Game Pro. Remember those two? I think there was another game magazine. It was owned by a video game retailer. Uh, what was it called? Flamin flamethrower? Oh, no, that's that. Game Pro? No, Game Pro was not owned by a retailer. Cringe. Flame Informer? Game Enforcer? That's one of those. I, I forget. Eighth place. Game, Infor Game Informer, that's right. And you got a spiffy little card that gave you a discount on the used games. Stuff. Actually, it wasn't bad. The magazine was actually quite good. I have to give, have to give it that. Give credit where credit's due. Dude, another one of these. Let's see what I got here. So that was downtown New York. There's Hawaii. There's uptown New York. That's right, uptown. You can drive through Central Park. It did used to have cheat codes. You're absolutely right. And some of them were actually good. No, no, I'm never wrong. May not always be right, but I'm never wrong. Just remember that. Okay, two wheels, not that bad. Cringe. Cringe indeed. Yeah, you sticker. Thank you very much. The inf <laughs> My computer's telling me, why are you doing this? Yeah, okay, better get in between here, otherwise I'm gonna have a bit of a short sudden stop. I'm gonna crash right into the checkpoint. Okay. Right into the building. Perfect. Now, why they put a building there in the first place, I have no idea. I got this. I got this. You gotta keep, keep going. There you go. Like a permanent drift. Going. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yep. I got it, folks. Oh. Okay, and here I am off road. Perfect. We're in Central Park, folks. Take a look at that. No, Simon and Garfunkel played here. Elton John played here. In fact, right where I crashed, Elton John played there in his Donald Duck suit. Ah, the memories. Okay, checkpoint. 34 seconds. I can do this. Absolutely. Still still crashing. Oh, somebody else crashed for once. Probably envious of how I do it. With Grace. And Denair. Okay. We're moving on. Nope, nope, nope. Don't, don't fishtail. Not yet. We're going to fishtail as we go through the checkpoint because we're going to do it with style. I want to go through the checkpoint backwards at one point. There you go. Okay, as I get rammed off the road. By that SUV, we got this. Rather foggy day in New York. The fact is, it's a foggy day in just about every Nintendo 64 game. Yep. 10 seconds. Get off the grid. Thank you. There's a checkpoint up there. I know there is. Three, two, one. Yes. Hey, okay, go over here. Greenlight City, here we come. They gotta go this way. There's that green side of the building, of course. Not too bad on the paint job. Seven seconds, there has to be a checkpoint up there. Somewhere. Out there. No. Ah. I gave me a checkpoint miraculously. 20 whole seconds. Oh well, yeah, we used to call it pop-up graphics and the fog helped hid or hide a lot of those uh, pop-up graphics, if you will, because the uh, memory was only so much. Ah, 
Run out of gas. Do it in style. We should do it right here in the parking lot. There we go. Sixth place. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, this is what I want to go here. I just want to play and I want to go to the stunt track. This has everything you could possibly want to drive around that beetle. There are ramps. As you can see, little bitty ramps up here. So you can do this. get up to that top layer there and you can actually see there you go see, did I get any points for that nope wasn't stunning enough I got you I can do this and you can see the stars look at that look at how they twirl Isn't that fantastic yeah it didn't quite land right Look at that, I'm up there in the sky. Now somehow I don't seem to have gotten any points yet. Oh, there's a special marker up there. Let's see if I can go get it. Go get it! And yep, 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 yep. No, I seem to have missed it. Okay. Uh, get your drama mean out, folks. There you go. Oh, I got eight whole points. Yes! That looks safe. What could go wrong? Well, the stars are getting closer, I've noticed. And they now seem to be getting further away again. Okay. It's fine. Hey, I almost landed on my tires. Yeah, I got this. I'm a professional stunt driver, damn it. No, can't amount and do, of course. What's on a product placement? Okay, so far I've got my eight points. Oh, look at this. It's a full wraparound. So I can show off my skills. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, heck yes. Gravity be damned. Again, not stunning enough to actually earn any points. That's okay. I'm not gonna let it bother me much. Up, 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 up. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Hmm. Didn't seem to like that one. I'm now up at the top. Excellent. What do we got up here? Looks like we got a bit of a race. Race track. Yes, 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 yes. We got this. And we got this little bumper here. Should be no problem. Up. Okay. 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 Yep. I think I overshot it just a tad. One flip. I've got a total of nine points. Excellent. I am a stunt driver supreme with cheese. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yep. Stay my. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got it. Right now, my car insurance company is wondering what the hell is going on. That's fine by me. I raise my rates anyhow, so I'm going to have to enjoy it. Oh, I gotta I got land this. Gotta land. Oh, crap. Oh, no. They've been putting product placement in games for quite some time there, Vin. They're just more blatant about it now. Now, I love seeing Coleman products in my Final Fantasy game, for example. Oh, I got three points for that one. Skimmy judges. I can do this. <laughs> yep. That roof that roof uh, landing doesn't seem to satisfy the judges. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, absolutely, you know, this is the perfect game to live once by. Okay, oh, if I can land on my tires, see if I can actually do that. Yep, up, 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 up. Two for every time I got a grand total of 14 whole points. That's okay by me. No, that was not a fail. That was an almost succeed. Okay, can I land on my tires? Can I land my tires? Oh, nope. 
and land on my side. That was not a fail. London Lass. There's a, there, no, that was not a fail, London Lass. There's, a, there's an exact science behind this. I haven't figured out what it is yet, but there's an exact science. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. I'm gonna see if I can get 15 points. I love the running out of gas sound of the clunker engine. <laughs> oh, yeah, wrong stick. No, I wasn't wrong, Lefty. I was not right. I'm never wrong. Absolutely salty. This is one of those games where I literally played all day. Just because it was just that much fun. Especially the stunt track. Now, this is hell. This is the crash track. Think of like everything's a Lombard Street. Oh yes, air horn. Thank you for the air horn sticker. Three, two, one. And this is an actual race, so imagine you're going through hell racing. Yep, and here we are. I seem to be stuck. Let's see, where am I? Yes, okay. That was new. I gotta get into this, the first damn checkpoint, crying out loud. I'm number one! Sort of. Okay, don't need the track. I don't need the tires. And I don't need the time. Hey, you could have put me close to the checkpoint, you know that. You really could have. Makes it sound like it's so bad with the crushing silence. Okay, we'll try this again. Blue the half pipe. Again. You're in a race. Through hell. Now you want to get those keys somehow. Yes, perfect. In case of a sticker party, yes. Well, no worries today, my good friend. There is no sticker party today because none of the stickers are worth anything. I gotta get. Come on. Gravity be damned, the nurse should take over. Here we go. There's a bump. Hey, there you go. It's the only Monday. Tell me about it. Give me enough, give me enough, give me enough inertia. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. It gave me less than a dozen seconds to get to my next checkpoint. I can do it. Provided if I stop time. Thank you very much. What a perfect ending. Perfect ending. Hmm. At least I wasn't dead last. Hmm. Okay, Seattle. Now, I look at the other cities that are in this game. you got Los Angeles, a great city. Uh, Hollywood's out there. H half the television's out there. Alcatraz, icon iconic um, prison. I'm listening. What? You have my attention. Go ahead. Yeah, you sticker. Okay. That's, that's, that, by the way, is me at peak happiness. Okay, New York Uptown again. Central Park. Love it. Hawaii. One of the greatest uh, islands, in my opinion. Lovely weather. Wonderful people. And, of course, La eh, Las Vegas. What the hell? Let's see how the accuracy of Las Vegas. I got this. Driving down the desert, lost wages. Here we go. 
All kinds of clipping and frame dropping. Wall bashing and fishtailing. There's the obelisk. There's the great sign. There's me going off my side. Club Las Vegas. Look at that. Look at all these wonderful hotels. Did I drive down the wrong side of the road? Okay. I got this. Look at those casinos. Now I have to admit, I have been to a Harrah's. That was wonderful. Really need to walk through. I've been to a Hard Rock casino. That was a lot of fun, too. We actually won some money. We broke even. <laughs> so we'll call it the night. So what you do is you go there with you know, just a few bucks. Not a, not a lot. Just say, hey, you know what? I got you know, 20 bucks. And then you go play the... Like the yep, crash to the wall. Uh, OOT was so good, I fell in love with that game. Did you now? Gaming on indeed. Hmm. I got this. They go in with a few bucks, and you spend it all. You know, if you, if you actually get some money out of it, great. If you didn't, eh, you didn't lose much. But at least you had a good time. shortcut here. Knock over some trees. There's a checkpoint over there. Sure is. I can make it too. Yes. I got this. I got this, chat. We got this. Just think of all the great things that happened. Las Vegas. CSI. Original. That was Las Vegas. James Bond, Diamonds Are Forever. They were in Las Vegas. There I am crashing against walls and stuff. In Las Vegas, just like that. I actually thought I cleared the wall. <laughs> yep, that's the MGM, sure is. Look at that, Club Las Vegas. Never thinks tonight, tonight, tonight. Just like in the YouTube videos. We got this. We got this. Just wondering where all the other cars went. Oh, I'm in sixth place, of course. Now I'm going to be in fifth. Look at that. I'm not a loser. I'm just not winning. Can go there. Yep, yep, yep. I see him. I see that car there as I go crash into the wall. Fishtail all over the place. Yeah, a sticker. Yeah, a sticker. We got this. We got this. We don't got this. Okay. It's remarkably sturdy how these beetles are. They seem to crash into walls and everything just fine. They just don't like getting flipped over. They're kind of like turtles, if you will. And they just kind of flop around a bit. Their little feet. You know, just waving in the air. That's how this car behaves. Okay, I seem to have lost all my placing. That's okay. We can overcome this adversity. Just like that. Amazing how fast this little beetle can do. Fly, you fool. Absolutely. Here I come. Striving for seventh out of eighth. Thank you. It's Herbie? Oh, God. No, not Herbie. Not Herbie. Those damn movable walls that just jump out right in front of me. I see somebody else got some damage. Ha ha. You got on the correct side, bro. 
I'm looking at Elvis there. Elvis is always in Vegas, by the way. Exactly. Come on. I can do this. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Yes. Okay. We got this, folks. This is the last lap, too. Oh, don't start fish tailing now. Hello. Hello. How are you tonight? My name is Super Pack. How are you? Yes. Indeed. Oops. Ah. Spun around. I recovered. Yep, thank you for the stickers, guys. Love the unicorn. Sticker. I'm still eighth out of eight. We can do it. Getting a little bit of a uh, issue here. That's fine. As long as my computer doesn't blow up, I'm happy. We can do it, folks. Finished. We actually finished. Hot damn. Eighth out of eighth. What a perfect ending. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name? Oh, I forgot about this music. I forgot about this music. Start with a G. Start with a Z. Nothing nasty now. I remember this. Not joke about explosive. I know, I know, Ben. I worked for Geek Squad for a whole number of years. So we actually had a, we actually had a, a department that you know would sell services. And sometimes I think they require magic wands. That's your name. That's right. What a game. Love this game. What a game. I'm gonna give, the, give that a break. Wow. <laughs> oh, hydrating, absolutely. So anyway, uh, we... A sticker. We had uh, somebody who uh, wanted their computer to be fixed, and uh, turns out our agent went out sticker. on site. Thank you, Ben. Went out on site and discovered that the computer uh, was pretty much burnt inside and out. It was a total loss. But no, our seller said we can fix that. Don't miss that. I missed what we did, but I don't miss that. Anyway, fun times. Cool story, bro. Absolutely. You know, it was a cool story, bro. It was actually five of the best years of my life, actually, working for them greatest bunch of people I've actually had the pleasure to meet. So, having said that, that's the end of our driving games uh, se sequence for tonight. I think we did pretty good there. Found some games that were pretty fast, some games that, a uh, game that wasn't fast much at all, and one was a bitch to get through, because of the stupid stunt track that kept on crashing, and the invisible things, not that I held any grudges, not that I'm upset, no. And of course, we did some Super Monaco GP style, and of course, we crash into everything on site with Rush 2. Good stuff. I thank you all for hanging out there. Thank you, Vin. Thank you, Lefty. Thank you, London Lass. And anyone else who was lurking out there, appreciate that as well. If you like what you saw, please give me a follow. I greatly appreciate it. If you like what you saw also, you can subscribe now. Woohoo! You can subscribe. Thank you, Lefty. Appreciate it. Thank you all for joining us. Indeed, thank you. 
Uh, this has this was an exciting night for me because yesterday I got the email uh, that I've become an affiliate, and uh, it, it was neat. Uh, I have to admit, I was quite excited. Um, I, I this is a 45 plus year hobby of mine that uh, well kind of come to uh, yep you got your first badge. <laughs> Right, your first badge. That's right. I turned a, uh, a lifelong hobby of mine, and uh, other than working the business, and making paychecks that way, I uh, instead uh, now are doing it just for fun. And uh, it just worked out this way, I guess. That's, that's fantastic. Thank you all for following me. Thank you all for subscribing. Appreciate it. Thank you for the applause. <laughs> it's, it's been it's been exciting. Yeah, yes. Sticker. Yeah, sticker. Uh, starting in the next stream, the stickers will have values to them. Um, I'm not going to go big on them because of the fact that uh, I, it's actually fun seeing all this. It's actually fun being on the receiving end of this. I, I, I appreciate it. I got some ideas what I'm going to do for custom stickers. Uh, if you notice that uh, there are channel points, they're called happies. Because that's me. Always happy. And over to Chris, absolutely. I think we're going to do that. Let's do see what's in the raid department, shall we? I hit my all my extra buttons. Oh my goodness! Uh, well, let's see, sir. Quiet. I imagine he's wrapping up. So, uh, but I know Mr. Dixie Chris is getting started. And how many do I have with me? I think I have three. I do. We're going to we're going to raid into Dixie Chris. I don't have much in the raid message department, so. He's still going strong. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, we're going to go see, say hi to Dixie Chris. Thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw, give me a follow. I have a YouTube page and another YouTube page and an Instagram page of all the crap that I've done over the last 40 plus years. How about that? We're going to raid right now. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you next time.